In this lecture, we'll take a look at how we can generate a table from a C-sharp class using Entity Framework. So here, I've created a class called Contracts. And now I want to generate a table. So the first thing that I'll be doing is going to my solution and clicking on Add New Item. And here, I'll be going to Data and selecting this ADO Net Entity Model. Let's give it a name over here as code first and then click on add here we'll choose code first from database click on next now and we already have the connection string or settings over here and then we can click on next over here now here you are required to select few things from the existing table like over here we have a couple of table names like products courses comments and all but I won't be selecting any from here and I'll be clicking on finish now and let's go ahead and click on yes now the first thing after that we have generated the entity framework code first we'll be enabling the migrations over here for our for our edmx so we'll be running this command enable migrations context type name code first db dot code first now code first db dot code first is the context name over here in my project in your case it could be something else and then we are using the force flag just to ensure that if earlier migrations were enabled they should be reconfigured and here it says code first migrations enabled for project code first db now here we were having our code first dot cs as a blank file so what we have done is we have included a db set of contracts class in our code first file and once that is done, we need to run the migration. So we'll say add migration contracts and let's press enter now. So here you can see it is trying to create all the tables that we already have in our database. So what we'll do now is we'll simply remove the ones that we don't need from this script. So this file will look like this now. We are only creating one table called contracts and there's nothing that we are removing from the existing database. So next step would be updating the database. So we'll say update database and press enter. Now if I go to solution server explorer, there we have our new table contracts and ID is the primary key and then we have contract name and date awarded. So that is how easy it is to create table from C-sharp classes using entity framework code first approach.